So Wood Yeah is a new company that you guys might not know about yet, but they're making some really cool inventions for vintage hand planes that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to show you what they're all about and how to install them, so stick with me. This is another invention from Wood Yeah. So what it is, is it's a 90 degree fence for the vintage 140s. So this is an older Stanley 140. I also checked it on the Miller's Falls. It fits that one as well. It does not fit a Lee Nielsen. Lee Nielsen has its own fence and maybe you don't want to pay for a Lee Nielsen or you can't afford it or whatever. This makes up for that. So if you have a vintage 140, here's a fence for it that this dude just invented, which I think is awesome. Um, I didn't feel that I needed to show you guys it in use because it's a, it's a fence, it's 90 degrees. The other thing you can do with it is take it and go like this, and then boom, you've got a chamfer. You can just ride that edge and create a chamfer on the board. The other thing is if you have smaller pieces that you need the edge joint, you can set them on here and run them along it. I know this is a longer piece, but you can edge joint small pieces this way too, which is another thing that I really like. The first thing I did check is that it is square, so it's squared to the bottom of the plane. Um, I'd be pretty disappointed if it wasn't, but it is. I, I definitely checked it out. It's made out of a thermoplastic, so it's not like a cheap, flimsy plastic. Like, it's made out of a really nice material, and it's really solid. When you're using it, there's a thumb rest here that you can, you can actually hold onto the plane that way if you wanted to. Um, or you can rest on here and help give you that extra pressure close to the mouth, which is nice. You can put it up here to help pressure forward if you're taking a heavy cut. I mean, it's it's a really nice invention. So let me show you guys how to, I'm gonna take it off of this one and install it in the Miller's Falls and show you. So when it gets delivered to you guys, these screws might not be in it and that's okay because they're, they're just screws, but you'll be able to tell on the top if it'll focus for me. There we go. So you can see that side that's like the pin side, I guess you'd call it. And then this side's for an Allen wrench. So it'll be very clear to you which side actually goes into here. And then you just take these screws and screw them in. Just snug. You don't want to over tighten them. Boom, snug. Okay, so now it's set up. Now let me show you the 140. So you want to undo the faceplate. As you guys know, the 140s have a faceplate on the side. So undo that. If it's easier for you, you can take the, the cap and the iron out, but don't need to. That goes off. Then you take this. Boom. Hold it close to the side that you're going to screw down. So I'm going to do the front first, tighten it down. Do the back, hold it there. Tighten it down. And there you go. It's on there really securely. The other thing that's nice about this that some people might not think about is if you found a 140 and it doesn't have this face plate, this right here is actually going to be a very weak joint. And you can easily, well not easily, but that could definitely snap off. So if this doesn't come with your plane, think about getting this even just for that so that you can lock it on here and keep it secure. Really nice invention. It's uh, to buy them, you go to shopwoodyad.com. I'll put a link in the description down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So I really like this thing. I think it's a really handy invention. If you guys are missing the side plate, this makes up for that and still make sure your block plane is strong. But it's also a fence. And I think that's what I like about it the most is you don't need one of those 95s to square your edges if you struggle squaring edges like I do. This thing does it for you because it's a 90 degree fence. You can also hold it at an angle and do a chamfer, flip it upside down and use it to joint small pieces. I mean, it's it's just a really cool invention that I'm surprised nobody has made it yet. I mean, I definitely recommend it. If you guys have a 140 um, Miller's Falls Stanley, I don't know about the other ones. If you guys have a different 140, go ahead and ask him at his website to see what other planes it fits. But it's a really strong plastic. Um, I like it on here too. It's got, it says wood, yeah, and then type one. And this is number 12. So check it out. I also have two other inventions that I did videos on, so check those out as well.